Hi, my name is John Walsh with the Logic Group, and in this video, I am going to discuss the tracing hardware. A digitizing tablet or a tracing board, it's an electronic device that connects to your computer through the USB port. Inside the board is a bunch of wires, a grid of wires. They go up and down and they go across. It has a hard for mica surface on it and it can handle several hundred pounds. The pin stylus has batteries in it and generates a magnetic field. When you get the pin stylus close to the board, the board senses exactly where the tip of the pin is, then push the button and point, start going to the cursor. The cursor works the same way. It has a magnifying glass and a little crosshair. Uh, it also has four or 16 buttons. The nice thing about the cursor is I can program those buttons to work with the software. The disadvantage of the cursor is I can't get that pin stylus right close to a part. Now I can use either the pin or the cursor when I'm tracing uh, parts or patterns. The accuracy of the boards is built into the boards. There's two different accuracies available. The standard accuracy is, uh, is 0.01 inch, a hundredth of an inch, but that we also have a more accurate board available with 0.005 inch accuracy. Now one of the nice things about the boards is they can trace through uh, different materials, so it will trace right through cardboard, plastic, glass. I just put the pin stylus and trace right on top of the cardboard. I don't have to cut it out and it will go through without a loss of accuracy. Now in terms of sizes, uh, this board here is 24 by 60 inches active area, but we also have smaller ones. The other thing that we can do is we can connect several of these boards together and trace very large patterns. So I can do up to eight boards. So if I have larger patterns, I can do that. That product is called the Gemma Tracer and there's information on our website. Then we also have um, a portable roll-up digitizer. I have one right here. It's in its tooth. I'm going to take it out. And uh, just take it out and then I hook it up to my computer. And it works just like the hardboard digitizers. And it does lay down flat on a flat surface. The roll-up digitizers work best with the 16-button cursor, so I recommend using a 16-button cursor with it. And then they, they generally will not digitize metals. Uh, that is the, the electronic hardware that we use. If you have like more information on this product, please contact us at www.logicgroup.com. Thank you.